Today's quick video is going to be about uploading quality photos and creating an Insta, um, a virtual tour in our Fusion program that comes from the GLVAR. So let's go ahead and go to the home page. We're going to click on Fusion. Sorry, my computer's a little slow today. Okay, here we go. Now let's go ahead and go to edit listing. And we are gonna pick a listing to edit. Okay, well, I only have one today, so that makes the choice really easy. Go ahead and click the green button. Gives you this little screen in a screen with different options of what you can do. Today we are going to concentrate on editing photos or actually adding photos, uh, which is under edit your listing. So let's go ahead and go down here where you see the piece of paper with the pencil. That's the edit icon. Go ahead and click on that. Here on the left hand side of the page, you will see the different options of different things you can work on. Today we are going to see edit our document. Actually, we go to um, we're going to go to images because we're going to upload some images. Click on that. As you can see, I already have quite a few pictures uploaded, but let's go ahead and upload some more. See, I have eight out of existing images. 27 may be added for a total of 35. Currently, we can upload 35 photos to our Fusion uh, program. So let's go ahead and upload images. And let me add, it's very important to add good images that have good lighting. Remember, these are the pictures that people are going to be viewing on Realtor.com, Homes.com, etc. for people that are searching for homes on the internet. So you wanna make sure you upload uh, nice pictures that flatter the home, number one, but also um, not necessarily hide the defects. You wanna be as honest as you can. Uh, when I say good photos, I mean good lighting, good angles, so that people can good, get a good idea of what the inside of the house looks like. Well, let's go ahead and to upload images. It takes me to my pictures library. I have photos here that I've already uploaded to my computer. Let me go ahead and pick a few to add to the fusion. There's one of the bathtub, closet, let's see. You can add one by one. There, I just added one. Okay, upload images. You can upload multiple at a time. Let's say we pick this one and we hit the shift key. Click on that one, this one. See now multiple photos have been up, have been highlighted. Go ahead and upload those. Uploading multiple images will take a little bit longer, but that's okay. So wait for them to upload. There we go. So we got more, we got more photos uploaded, as you can see. Now you want to, on here, you want to click on and you want to give a name to where the photos are. That way, the Fusion and our free virtual tour software knows where to install these pictures and to label them for the virtual tour. So that's a picture of the kitchen. So we're gonna click on kitchen. Okay, here's another one of the kitchen. So we're gonna click on kitchen. Again, here's one of the bath. I'm sorry, these pictures are not very beautiful. This home is a fixer upper. Well, we got, well, we gotta work with what we gotta work with. It's okay. For somebody, this is gonna be a beautiful home one day. Here's another picture of the bedroom. Click on bedroom. That's a, as you see, it's the door to the bedroom. Here's a better view of the bedroom. Click on bedroom. Okay. Now, once you've finished making the changes to the photo, you want to go down to the bottom of the page and you want to click on save because the software does not automatically save the pictures. You have to click on save. As you will find, uh, most of the time with Fusion, whenever you install, add anything, whether it be a picture, a document, 
usually you're going to have to make the time to click on the save button. That's just the way it is. In a way, this is good, so we don't actually... It's good because that way we don't accidentally upload something we don't want to upload. This will give us a minute to make sure we're uploading everything correctly. There we go. Okay, there we go. Pictures have been saved, uploaded and saved. Now, let's go back to the left-hand side of the page. And we are going to click on Create a Virtual Tour. Click on that. Now... The company that we work with is PropertyPanorama.com and this software pretty much automatically creates our virtual tour for us. See, PropertyPanorama.com manage tours. From the members area, or rather the home page, you can click on, see your information there, you can click on view my tours or you can click on view the office tours. Let's just Click on ours real quick. Now here it does give us the option of how many pictures we want per page. Just keep that simple 10. Now we can view our virtual tour that has been created for free for us. And here it is. Uh, there's quite a few information on here. Gives you the view of the home. See here we got living room, living room. You can let that go through and do it on its own. Okay, notice up here there's other information that's given as part of um, the virtual tour. You got some inf details on the home. Click on map. Gives you an aerial map shot of the property. You can zoom in, zoom out so people can see exactly where this home is located. Give you some information on schools. There's a loan calculator. Share if you want to share it on one of your social media websites or pages. There's your YouTube video and the agent flyer. You can actually print this out and put it out at the property, give it to people, etc. Okay, returning back to the home page. And here we go, see all tours by Lucy Pena, by myself. Let's go back to the home page. Oh, I lost it. Let me get back to my... Get me back to my members area. Okay, back to my members area. And I actually couldn't find my way back here, so I actually went back to Fusion and logged all the way back in through the link on the side. Because I couldn't find how to get back there, but I just went back to create a virtual tour. It took me back to the members area. Okay, now from the members area, if you scroll down, you can see you have some more options. You can make your tour public or private, you can do a linking page, and you can do some basic editing. Okay, from the editing area, see here photos, look and feel, effects, listing information, so you can update that information, change it how you want. Let's do an audio change real quick. Okay, you can personalize your view. Here there's different kind of music, different songs you can pick from. Or you can actually upload your own music or your own voiceover. So you can be speaking over the pictures. Okay, some other effects. You can do a photo effect. Uh, transition effect. You want, uh, I guess that one doesn't give us a choice. Look and feel of the tour. Here it gives you different options. You can change the color a little bit. You know, make it more warm. 
see how it changes from green to blue, yellow. It's not a big deal, but if it's something you want to work with, you can. Or you can just set it to... And once again, remember you always have to save your changes. Photos, if you want to add some photos. Here, um, this, is what, this is my favorite one. Because here you can upload photos and you can actually sew them together. So you would go here, upload, accept the terms and conditions, and you add files. Once again, you would do that from your photos that you already have saved on your computer. Here, there, here they are. And now you, just like with everything with Fusion, everything is double checked. So you see there the pictures, those are the ones you like. Start the upload. Upload successful, etc., etc. Oh, and I forgot to click on, but you can actually click on the little button there that lets you stitch the pictures together to, for a seamless transition, seamless transition from photo to photo. If you want to do that. Anyway, this is just a really quick, basic tutorial. Go ahead and log on to your Fusion account, play around with it a little bit, um, get familiar with it. It's a benefit that comes for, uh, as part of your membership. Okay, have fun.